YouTube viewers, this is Mr. Gallon. We're here again with a little study guide help for yourself. And we're looking at number three on Unit 2 Study Guide about Madison and her sweet bike ride that she's going on here. She rode her bike at a constant speed. Well, that tells me proportional relationship. She rode one mile, seven minutes. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a nice little table with a color that you could actually see when you're looking at it. And here's my table. And uh, it looks like miles is going to be a D distance. So D is miles that she rides on her bike. And seven minutes is T, which is in my graph now, or my table. And um, I would recommend telling me what each variable is in your table that way you can make a clear connection when you're trying to think about which of the equations it matches so one mile in seven minutes that means that we multiply what variable by seven to get the other well clearly we multiply d the miles by seven to get t so the equation that we would originally write is looking like this guy right here which means we're going to select that one. All right, but this one says which of these equations represents the amount of time and minutes it takes her to ride a distance of D miles. Well, it can't be number two as another one. Uh, three and four make absolutely no sense because you've got these nasty little plus and minus signs here. So it has to be one. What an easy question. I hope you get that right on the test Friday. I'll be rooting for you. I really will. I hope you do well. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys, I hope this was helpful for you. Later.